press delete for bio setup so the first thing I'm gonna do is just go to save and exit low optimize default just hit enter do the default after that we we'll just go into a bank's fragrance settings hit enter go all the way to the bottom to the SMP presenter select the profile number one after that we just go to the BIOS feature tab the first thing we're gonna do is just go to the Windows 8 and 10 features we're gonna set up for other OS after that go to storage book auction and just select um, UFI only next thing we go on to peripheral go on to XHCI by default is um, disabled just set it up to enable and then go to super IO configuration and disable that one after that we go into chipset the VTD we disable it go to wake on LAN and disable that one and the IO8 pick also have to be disabled after that we just go into pick F10 save configuration press yes is it going to reboot next thing we're gonna do is just hit F12 to set it up the boot menu we just go and set it that one hit enter this is what we're gonna get so the first thing we're gonna go is to external hit enter and it's gonna start to boot it up so next thing we're gonna do is just select main language click next so before we continue, we just go into utility, this utility. We're gonna select the drive that we're gonna use um, to boot it up for OSX. In my case, I have the SanDisk, it's a SSD. So we're gonna erase, we're gonna type Hacking touch. We're gonna select click the race. It's done, just hit done. You can just close this one out and then hit continue. Continue agree. Then we're gonna select the this that we're gonna use in this case is hacking touch. Continue. Let's say we, it's going to be about 12 minutes.
like, like you see when I finish the installation they reboot by itself then you do the same and hit F12 to go to the boot menu again select the same USB hit enter again it's gonna go to the boot menu now instead of the external you're gonna select the HFL that is the drive that we just install OS X Right now we are in the setup screen. What we're gonna do is just hit continue, USX continue. The Wi Fi card that I have is the TP Link that is referred in um, Tony Max 86. So, and like you can see, it's working out of the box. set it up the Wi-Fi all right as soon as you set up the password we're not gonna transfer anything click continue now locations the news and set it up the Apple ID skip Agree, agree. We're gonna set up the name for the computer. Password for now. I'm gonna do anything. Let's continue. Location. Then set a chair. Book in so to set up the mouse I'm um, sorry the keyboard we're gonna press what the one that is close to the shift on the left side in this case is uh, C and the right side is the uh, question mark we're just gonna do it um United States done What I just did, I just connect uh, my other USB, the one that I have uh, the Multivis install. So we're gonna open it, open the Multivis, open, close this. All right, so the first thing we're gonna do the quick start, we're gonna select um, US file, go into drive for audio. I just gonna select the ALC 1150 and the 100 serial. We don't need this. Need miscellaneous network is working fine, so we're not gonna install anything for USB. Also, it's working fine, so we're not gonna do anything in that. For boot low, 
we have a uh, clover customized for graphic I'm uh, just using it um, just show you it says 7 megabytes because I have a graphics card but it's the 1080 so I'm not gonna be using that because there's no driver for it at this moment so I'm gonna disassemble that in the minute in the bio setup. So for graphic, we're just gonna do the 530. That's the that's the onboard graphic for the 6700K. And this we're not gonna do anything. We're gonna click build. We're gonna click install. Agree. We're gonna type the password that we enter when we set up the computer. This one is, should take like about a minute or two. Oh, even quicker. So now what we're gonna do is just close out of this. We're gonna restart. Not open anything. At this moment, we're just gonna disconnect all the USB that we have. The first reboot also should take about a minute because it just set it up everything that you just installed. Now again for the bio setup, we go going to hit delete to go into the bio setup again. Now we're going to, what we're going to do actually in my case, I'm going to disable the graphics card and we're just going to use the internal graphic and we're going to select the the this what we're gonna book from. So we're gonna disassemble this too. And the first one that we're gonna use is gonna be the sand disk. So this one. Now we hit F10 again to save and exit and it should boot automatically to the hacking touch. Okay, there we go. Probably you guys not gonna get that many drive because I have uh, two SSD and two internal drive. Probably if you're just using one, you're gonna see just one partition. But, just go, we just select again, HFS, and we should boot right into OS X Sierra.
All right. So if you check about my computer, you can see that I'm using the i7 4.1 gigahertz. I have 16 gigabytes of memory DDR4. And now you can see the graphics that is a uh, Intel HD 530. It's a uh, 1536 megabyte. All right, guys, that's gonna be it. Thanks for watching. Hope you enjoy.